time for Friday Flicks, one of our favorite times of the week here on CG Style. You know, it's a time to unwind a little bit and look forward to the weekend to see what's coming up. And here with an unbiased insider's look at this weekend's releases, he's 2,872 miles west in Santa Monica, California, the host of America's longest running movie talk show, the film freak movie interview, Leo Quinones. How are you, Leo? So cool to be right back with you, Ryan. Let's talk movies, bud. Let's do it. First up, we have Home. Pretty mm -hmm. easy name. Pretty easy name, a pretty easy film, and a really easy choice for kids. I mean, you have Cinderella still in the box office, but really nothing for kids. So what is Home? Uh, basically, it's about a world where aliens have taken over human cities, okay? Uh, they're called the Boove. That's the name of the species, and they're really not nice. They're not nice to each other. They're kind of hustle and bustle. They ignore each other. And one of the boob is uh, voiced by Jim Parsons, the Emmy Award winning actor from How I Met Your Mother. So he plays a character called O. And O wants a connection with everybody. And that doesn't fit in with the boob strategy. And then he meets uh, a young girl named Tip. Now, this is the character voiced by Rihanna, and basically there are two fish out of waters, and they meet, and they connect, and then they go on this journey together. Uh, it really is a sweet sentiment, Ryan. It's about really uh, finding where your home is and being comfortable. Now, the critics are destroying it. Kids will love it. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Toy Story, those little aliens that they had in the vending machines. Oh, that's right. You know, with the claw, I remember that as well. And you know what? The animation is good. And you also have a great performance vocally by Steve Martin, who plays Captain Smek. He's the leader of the Boob, and their uh, main word is cowardly. So that's fun. And the mother's voiced by Jennifer Lopez. And you got Rihanna. Uh, Rihanna, all these great songs are, are basically her. They're, it's not a musical, but a lot of music that does drive the story forward. So it has a lot of things to offer. Yeah, so that'll be a good uh, flick this weekend for the kids. And then uh, next up, a little bit different. I don't think this one is so much for the kids. It's called Get Hard with Kevin Hart and Will Ferrell. Now, Kevin Hart's sort of on this, uh, you know, giant road to success here in, in comedy. Yeah. Well, you know, actually, this movie could be really good for kids um, if you want to scar them for life. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard rated R. <laughs> no kids allowed. This reminds me of when I was really getting into movies. Uh, I, I love this movie, Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy, called Trading Places. It's about a rich guy who switches places with a normal person. That's what you have here in Get Hard. Will Ferrell plays this guy named James, who's a, he's in a hedge fund bubble. You know, he, rules don't apply to him. Uh, he sees world, the world in his way, okay? That's him. And then you have a guy named Darnell, a real normal guy, normal in every way. But Darnell likes to watch HBO's prison series, Oz. So because he watches Oz, he gets into a situation where he needs to consult Will Ferrell's character who's going to jail for a white collar crime. He consults him on how to uh, make it by in prison. And then when these two comedy worlds collide, that's the buddy picture right there. And uh, the critics trouncing it, but I know there's going to be some great laughs in there for anybody who likes Will Ferrell and Kevin Hart. Now, if, if there was anybody that's intimidating enough to train somebody for jail, I would think it would be Kevin Hart, of course. Yeah, well, it's two different comedy styles colliding. Uh, uh, Eton Cohen, the director, says, you know, Will Ferrell has this kind of zen comedy style where anything that comes to Will Ferrell, he can react to it, process, and then put something out there uh, in his own unique way, which we've all seen. But Kevin Hart is completely different in his comedy stylings. Uh, he's always thinking up things 24-7, pulling things right out of the air. So when you have these two different styles together, uh, it has a unique stamp on it. And Get Hard is going to be one of those, I think, cult films that in 10 years everyone's going to be quoting lines from. Yeah, it, it kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Malibu's Most Wanted. You remember that, that flick? With Jamie Kennedy? Yeah, yeah. No? You're not feeling it? No? What happened to you, Ryan? Maybe, maybe a little bit? Okay. Right. <laughs> I, I guess I'll have to check it out for myself. Make sure that you guys follow the leader, Mr. Leo Quinones, on Twitter. It's at Movie Interview. Leo, you're always uh, tweeting up a storm over there. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, today at uh, 
3 p.m. your time. I'm going to be interviewing the guitarist for The Police. His name is Andy Summers. He has a brand new documentary. So that's going to be 3 p.m. your time. You guys can check it out on my Twitter page, the live video feed, at Movie Interview. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very cool. You always got some good stuff going over there on your Twitter. Again, at Movie Interview. Uh